Have you guys ever wanted to do a quick evaluation of an oscillator circuit, an antenna coil, or an IF transformer? Stay tuned and I'll show you a quick circuit that you can put together to do just that. You're looking at the circuit design for what I call the LC circuit tester for evaluating oscillator coils, antenna coils, and IF transformers. Basically anything that has an LC circuit, or better known as a tank circuit, the circuit was first designed, the oscillator section, by F. Butler based on cathode coupled oscillators. That was in Wireless Engineer, November 1944. And then it was expanded on, called a cathode coupled oscillator by Frank C. Alexander Jr. An article appeared in QST, September of 46, followed by FET two-terminal oscillator by L. F. Heller. That was in Wireless World of September 1969. And then another recent article by Michael A. Covington, 73 Amateur Radio, September of 1990, called The Coil Tester. So what you're looking at is kind of a spin-off of that design. If you'd like a better understanding of how the oscillator section itself works, reference the articles I just mentioned. I'll put a reference to those in the video description or show more. You'll see the modifications I made by adding a 555 timer configured to uh, create a modulated tone around 1 kilohertz. It's more of a sawtooth. After it goes through uh, R4, the 1 meg resistor, back over to T1, that signal or voltage is applied to the gate of TR2. So that's really the big difference in the design itself. And again, I'm using a separate receiver to listen in to the tone itself in near proximity to the particular tank circuit or LC circuit being tested. Other than that, it's very similar to the uh, original design. For the enclosure itself, I just used one of those uh, hinged tin box containers. Had a number of those, and you can see the circuit board itself was cut to size. And the battery itself is held in place with Velcro on the back side. And used a simple micro switch inside on the circuit board along with an LED to indicate the unit is powered up. And the BOM for reference, a few parts excluded here. I did not call out hookup wire, alligator clips, uh, some fasteners itself. But you guys saw how I constructed it using some parts and pieces that I had on hand. Let's test an IF transformer and an oscillator uh, coil, and then we'll conclude the video. I have the LC circuit tester tied into the secondary of the IF transformer and you can see I have my uh, tunable receiver here back down to around 423 kilohertz. We'll just increment the uh, signal here. And you can hear the tone when we get close again to the uh, resonant frequency there. Let me uh, turn this off just for a moment. One thing I found at the lower frequencies, the accuracy of the frequency and the resonant oscillation itself with these longer leads is uh, pretty close. As I get higher in frequency, the stray capacitance itself causes the uh, error rates to be about 7 to 8% uh, or so or more. I'm sure the uh, design could be improved upon separating the uh, two leads here. You can see where I've got those coming out together to reduce any uh, capacitance and then to keep the leads, of course, as short as possible, if that's important. The idea behind the tester was just to make sure I did not have an open coil and or the uh, capacitor itself in the circuit itself is not defective. So an exact frequency was not the objective of the design itself. Let me pull that uh, receiver back over here and let's just test the oscillator section one more time. You can see I've got the tester hooked up here to the oscillator section, that being the front section. 
and again if we had an open coil we would not be able to uh, resonate so let me just go ahead and tune the uh, tuning condenser down we'll listen for the tone So there's the tone. Now we know we don't have an open capacitor and or an open oscillator coil. Let me uh, bump the receiver up to, uh, let's say, 1300 kilohertz. We'll tune up. And there's the oscillator at uh, 1300. Let's uh, try 1500. So I think that demonstrates how easy it is to use the uh, tester, and again, I think it can add value for a quick evaluation of an LC, or that is a tank circuit. I appreciate you guys watching. Again, if you want to uh, download the schematic in BOM, just reference the uh, video description or show more for the uh, link. You guys uh, take care. Stay well.